What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Baseball News. I'm Ivancito Perez, your host, here for the on the recap of the winter meetings. So, big news, crazy 48 hours in San Diego. The the New York, the Dodgers, excuse me, trade away their center field Matt Kemp for Jasmine Grandel on to from San Diego. <clears throat> that should be a interesting trade, to be exact. Uh, I think that uh, San Diego got the best part of it. I don't know. Maybe it depends. People say Matt Kemp has a big ego. Uh, he's a solid player. He's kicking, but a lot of injuries has him having a lot laying down for the past few years. So let's see what goes on in San Diego for this coming season. They're gonna pick up thirty million dollars from Kat, Matt Kemp's contract. So that's a lot of money just for one player. Another news that the Red Sox getting Rick Porcello from the Tigers, trading away Joanny Cespedes. That's big. They also signed Justin Masterson with one year deal worth $9.5 million. That's a solid rotation right now, as well as they got on the trade from the D backs uh, Wade Miley, a lefty that can solidify that, rotate, that five man rotation. I think they have a good chance. On pitch inside, hit inside. I'm not really sure, but again, like I said before, let's see what happens with them. Also, we have Dodgers again <clears throat> getting Howie Kendrick from the LA Angels. Yeah, so he just a little heads up. He didn't know that. Ben McCarthy signing with the Dodgers as well, a four-year deal, forty-eight million dollars. Now that rotation from the, the Dodgers is getting pretty good now with Kershaw, McCarthy. Zach Grinke, those top two, three. This should be a, a, a pretty solid lineup for the for the Dodgers. Uh, Irvin Santana signing with the Twins for four-year deal, fifty-five million dollars. I think it should be pretty intense now. I think I'm not sure. I don't. I don't want to say intense. More of a opportunity for the Twins. They've been down a few past years. Uh, with this guy probably can help. Phil Hughes in the lineup on the pitching side, they just need to get more, more uh, hitting. They don't have that much hitting on a big ballpark, so they need people to hit line drives. They, they should get anyone, at least. At least try to sign, out, sign my, uh, Eric Young, the Mets let him go. But let's see what happens. He got speed, but he got a bunch of triples in there in that uh, target field. Um, Jimmy Rollins. That was a big surprise for me, about kind of a little blockbuster. Going to the Dodgers as well from the Phillies. The Dodgers got a few. Uh, the Mar excuse me, the Phillies got a few. <laughs> prospect, I can say, not really sure, but I think the the Dodgers have a good a good uh, infield now with with uh, Rollins and Howie Kendrick. On the shortstop second base, so it should be interesting how those two work out the whole season. Well, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, no. One last thing, the rest trade away Matt Latos and Alfredo Simon. One to the Marlins, the other to the Tigers. I think uh, the, the Latos tra trade <clears throat> should work for the Marlins, even, in the, even though they, re they received like four players. The Marlins have a, a really... A really solid rotation. They have young players. I think they're right now a, a big threat on the NL East. So I think it should be a competitor between them and the White and the Washington Nationals. Um, the Tigers got a the first time All Star Alfredo Simon. To the, probably he's gonna be on the bullpen, but uh, let's see how it goes on spring training. He either wins the fifth the fifth spot or goes to the bullpen. He's a solid player. I can say that. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please hit like to this button. The but like button. Subscribe. I'll follow. I'll subscribe back. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.